What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode with Southern Family Living. I'm in Dolphin Island today. Again, um, the, ref, the redfish have been running in Dolphin Island like crazy. I was going to go to Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, or branch out a little bit. But so far, the fishing has been really hot here, so I got to stay with it. Um, I'm heading to the beach, and I got some mullet with me. I'm about to use it as cut bait. Got a little bit of fish gum. Hopefully, we can get on some more redfish, maybe a black drum, some uh, whiting, anything. I just like to fish. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. That way, you can see all the videos, get a look at my ugly face. And I do giveaways, I mean, probably twice a month. You know, I try to interact with all my subscribers, and I think I do a pretty good job with that. So, if that's something you want to be a part of, uh, join the family. And um, without further ado, we're going to get to this beach, we're going to load up get out there and hopefully get on some fish y'all stay tuned all right guys time check for you it's almost three o'clock just got the rods out getting a few nibbles already it is cooking out here it's like 81 degrees about seven mile per hour winds when it blows northwest and uh hopefully we get on some fish man let's see got cut bait on both of the rods i might do some fish gum in a minute all right guys so <clears throat> stay there about 25 minutes and my gut is just telling me to go to the cutoff so i'm going to the cutoff i mean i was got i got a few bites but i'm cooking out there i need i don't have much time during the fall and winter i get myself probably two hours of fish and um i like to move around a lot to locate these redfish and black drum so i'm going to go to the cutoff and hopefully get on some fish to see there all right walking under the bridge Trying not to fall or break my rod. That'd be lovely. Hopefully it's not too packed over here because everyone knows the reds are moving in right here. Oh Lord. And I already see the mullet jumping everywhere just like the last video you guys saw. That'd be good. It's a good one. Pulling a lot of drag. Running right at me too. Trying to land it here is the tough part. He's on the bottom. It's a redfish. I'll have my land it. It's a big old red. Oh. Dang it. Come on, man. Get over here. Damn, I need that net. <laughs> it's a pretty good one. My man, thank you. Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll bring it right back. Right. Thank you, man. Whew. The only bad thing about fishing these rocks. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Something told me to come to the cutoff. I'm so glad I did, man. This is a tank. I'm gonna get a measurement right here by this bridge, man. On the frisky fins popping a rig and cut bait. Like I said, guys, that just proves these frisky fin popping rigs can catch redfish and black drum, anything. Maybe not sharks, it depends, but they're designed to catch more fish than you think. Let's get back out there. Okay, this one's huge. I can't move this one. I literally can't move this one. I don't know what it is. On the cut bay, oh my God, my rod looks like it's about to break. Oh my God. Thank you. 
What if it's a big ugly? It's right on the bottom. Oh man. Yeah, this one's way, I can't move it. I don't, I don't know. Might be a big ugly. Oh my God. Oh, it's just right there, I can't move them. Oh man, on the cut bait. That's a big one. There's what? Huh? Think it is? It's fighting like one. Dead weight. Definitely a black drum. Take my time with it. I don't like getting close. I don't know, it's got some head movement though. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Come on now. Yeah, that's a big one. He's right there. Come on. Oh no. Yeah. That's a big one right there, man. Oh my god, that's why. <laughs> oh man, how much she weighs? Yeah. All right, guys. Black drum, at least 30 pounds. Might get a measurement. Oh, that's a big boy right there. He fought good, dude. He's thick. Let's uh, get a measurement, weight, and I'll put him back. <sighs> 35 inches, guys. Let's get a weight. 31 pounds. Hooked up again. A good one, guys. It's a red. That's probably a red. Come on, get up here. I need one more red to take with me so I can have some good food tomorrow. Might be a big ugly. I don't know. It's fighting more like a red. Yep, redfish. Hey guys, another red. All right guys, let's get a measurement.
That one was 23 inches. Second redfish. One, two, three, and same thing. Three more just like on the side with that blue tail, man. Beautiful. All right, guys, so two red, that big black drum I caught earlier, and this guy just gave me this little puppy drum to try. So I definitely appreciate him for doing that. I did not catch this one. A guy that was fishing beside me did and told me I could take it home, so awesome. Oh, man, what a blast, guys. So I'm so glad that I made that move from the beach to the cutoff, which is where I fished last night. You've already seen that video. and But I landed two more red, uh, two more red fish, and one black drum. That puppy drum uh, the guy gave me, I do want to try it. I've never tried black drum. I hear it's good if it's small enough. But uh, I started fishing at three, it's 440. So not bad, hour and 40 minutes. And we got some good fish to take home. So stay tuned for the catch and cook. Like this video and subscribe. There's gonna be tons more fishing, guys. I'm taking it to the next level. I'm trying as hard as I can and uh, I have fun doing it. So see you in the kitchen.